So right off the top tonight, we begin with the controversy surrounding the selection of Norfolk's new police chief. Quite a few people speaking in front of city council members tonight asking for the city manager of Norfolk to either resign or be removed. News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer was at that council meeting tonight. All right, Zach, we want to know what happened. Why are some people so unhappy? Well, Blaine, this was being brought up by residents from throughout the city, including the NAACP Norfolk branch. As we told you last week, that group called for a halt of Mark Talbot's hiring, citing a, quote, lack of ethics and transparency. Now, this was a nearly year-long search for Norfolk's new chief that included public forums and a chance for residents to weigh in online. But some living here in the Mermaid City believe there should have been more transparency. We demand that the Norfolk City Council vote to immediately remove Dr. Larry Chip Fowler from his role as Norfolk City Manager. A message from Stacey Armstead, the president of the NAACP Norfolk branch, as members of other NAACP branches stood in solidarity. We are calling for public trust here tonight. This comes after Norfolk City Manager Dr. Chip Filer revealed Hampton Police Chief Mark Talbot will be Norfolk's new chief. Talbot served in the city search committee and was approached by Filer a few days after interviews for the initial three finalists ended. And Filer didn't know if the right person was in that particular pool. After being asked, Talbot applied and went through the assessment process. Meanwhile, residents say they're concerned about the decision-making process. This hiring was a complete surprise. Dr. Filer was not present at Tuesday night's council meeting. He should be present to bear out the concerns so that he could speak for himself. The influence from the resident survey and from the town halls that we had had a massive influence. I asked Dr. Filer about the process when Talbot was introduced last week. Our residents told us uh, they wanted somebody that had experience as a chief. Uh, they wanted someone with experience in an urban setting. Uh, they wanted uh, someone very involved in community policing, strong emphasis on data-driven police work. Those traits, those things that were said absolutely uh, you know, sort of guided me towards Chief Talbot. We have to consider this is a, a gentleman that is, uh, you know, highly regarded. Before Tuesday's meeting, Norfolk Council Member J.P. Page told me he found out from the media last week that Talbot was going to be the next chief. Of course it was a surprise when I'm being on the search committee. Um, but after considering a few things and talking to a few citizens, again, the focus is everyone in Norfolk being safe. I have seniors in uh, buildings that are experiencing gunfire where bullets are going through uh, windows uh, where they sleep at. Page says recent violence in the city is his foremost concern. Now, we did try to get a word with Norfolk Mayor Kenny Alexander after the meeting tonight, but we were unable to. I am told Dr. Filer was not there tonight because he was on a pre-planned vacation with family this week. Meanwhile, the spokesperson for the city told me after tonight's meeting, there were 32 responses they got from residents either through email or that online portal they opened in March during the search process, Blaine. Zach Dahlheimer reporting for us tonight. Thank you so much.